Hello and welcome to my unboxing of the Spyderco Roadie. So this small package, ordered it yesterday, came today. So, uh, I only use the Spyderco Bug. It's my smallest Spyderco knife. I think it's smaller than my Panchenko. So, uh, it's just to keep in, in line with the, the trend of a uh, small knife. As you can see, 8 CR 13 MOV is just uh, too good. No, this is a bit tricky. Right, so let's have a look. And here, and here is. So, in here is the knife itself. It's a very small package very light, extremely light. Uh, if you wanted to know it's a C189PBK Rody pin black and it's LN. It's essentially uh, the month first and the year so L would be December, N would be 2014 so it's made probably about a month or two ago it's it being February. Um, so we'll open it and I'll give you my first impressions. This is what you get. Comes in one of these little bags, and this is the first impression. Already, you can see there's no uh, pocket clip. It's an extremely lightweight knife, although it does have a full back spring. Can you open it one handed? Yeah, is a short answer with a little bit of difficulty. Hmm. Feels quite the back spring's quite quite solid. Yeah, that's probably the strongest uh, back spring I've I've seen in a Spyderco. It really doesn't want to close on you. So it's made in Maniago, Italy. Designed by Sal Glesser. Yeah, that's uh, very, very sharp. And it has the N690 CO steel, which I'm a huge fan of. And it closes quite well, and it's got a little hoop there. Spyderco logo, but it is smooth, so... Um, yeah, not the, not the most ideal way of closing it, but... Um, but, yeah. Don't want to really risk it that way either, but uh, right. So smooth um, sharpness out of the box. I will just cut this, uh, or will I? No, I'm going to cut this uh, envelope. Mm, yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's very sharp, but the 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 shape of it is kind of goes against it a little bit it kind of gets really big so that slows down the slow down your cutting you know in a way but yeah so as you can see extremely sharp out of the box um, it's with a really nice steel that I like uh, it's expensive it's I think I bought this for about 53 pounds it's probably about forty dollars in in the States but um, it is expensive for what you get and uh, yeah I mean the little booklet will go on and talk about tragic events of you know September the 11th 2001 about uh, knife carry on planes but I will go more into all of that in the review uh, this weekend I'll be carrying this all week somewhere hope I don't lose it I might even put like a little lanyard on it or something because it's it, even though it's full backspacer it uh, still still quite heavy um, yeah if you wanted to know the size of it that's that's the spider code bug that's the roadie the squeak uh, blade length of the squeak is longer and the UKPK 
just for, for giggles, the Spy DK. So it's a lot, lot smaller than a Spy DK. But of course, those three have your, have your pocket clips. So that's where it kind of sits. I'll carry it all through the week and uh, join me on Saturday or possibly Sunday uh, when I will be doing a review for it on how I've found using it all through the week on various tasks. So thanks for joining me today for the unboxing. Hopefully see you at the weekend for the review. Thanks for watching today. Take care.